Hi my friends, let's model the part number 85 angular fixture from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this object is here. As you can see, a revolution to the left, revolution to bottom and a housing in the middle with a slope plane. The drawing shows more. Let's start. We start with the left uh, volume of revolution which has a simple shape. This last must be center line. And now dimensions. You see this diameter of 174, 13, 19, 92 and 4. Let's apply these dimensions. First is the diameter of uh, 174. Now we have a scale here. 13, 19, 19. diameter here of uh, 92. And you see the angle must be first in the first place dimensioned four and the angle of twenty degrees twenty. That's all. Finish sketch, F6, F6, and revolve. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is a square feature with the height of 8 this 8 and then another another square extrusion greater this is 85 any uh, side and this is 90 with a chamfer of 7 and 45 Let's create this to uh, extrusion. This face, polygon, four sides, center, horizontal, 85. Finish sketch, extrude this on 8. OK. The other is placed here. But let's see how long should be. You see, we don't have a dimension for this from here to anywhere yes so we use the greatest dimension in this 174 
which is D0. Yes? Let's see. D0. We use D0 as the extrusion of 90. This face, uh, polygon, four sides, horizontal, 90, and uh, let's apply chamfer, chamfer of seven at each corner to extrude. Okay. Finish sketch. Extrude. We extrude this face at uh, D0 distance. Okay. This covers anything at this part. Now we have to cut this small corner and we use uh, this face and we project the contour. Finish sketch extrude this area yes with cut to to this face okay now we have the cut here good This uh, face is uh, 23 with 40. We create a sketch in the plane XY. And the sloped line to the to the other uh, face. 23 and 40 degrees. 40. Good. Now we close this contour. One two, three lines, finish sketch, extrude, cut all the way, symmetrical, okay, F6, next volume is uh, this one, you see, which starts at uh, 86, yes, from the center point to here. The diameter is 76. We have all dimensions. Plane, from this plane, down minus 86 circle with the diameter of uh, 76 placed on the same horizontal with the center point at a distance of 46. Forty-six. Finish sketch. 
extrude to the part yes okay visibility next volume is uh, this one you see which starts at uh, 86 yes from the center point to here the diameter is 76 we have all dimensions plane from this plane down minus 86 circle with the diameter of uh, 76 placed on the same horizontal with the center point at a distance of 46 46 finish sketch extrude to the part Yes. Okay. Visibility. We continue with adding. This volume yes 30 millimeters which uh, are uh, uh, from 83 yes is inside here 83 is the plane where we start this rectangle 83 with minus minus 83 sketch F7 and we create here a rectangle from this to the circle projection and uh, we apply coincident to this two to have symmetry and now 30 30 okay white means fully constrained now we extrude this uh, new sketch or uh, area to the part yes you see okay other elements of volume are uh, ribs there are two ribs yes they are placed two ribs one two we create one and apply mirror uh, the distance is 60 and the thickness is 12 plane minus 60 then a sketch a sketch with a single unique line 
this line. Dimensions are 45 from this uh, center point and the angle is uh, 90 minus 15. Finish the sketch. No visibility and rib. Rib this option twelve, but this direction, yes from 60 another uh, 12 okay mirror of the last feature about this plane okay the last volume to be added is uh, this one or this one or this one it is placed from this edge at uh, 105 plus 5 on the other direction is on the middle good this face sketch circle radius 8 then the same vertical of the center with the center point the distance from this edge is 105 plus 5 Finish sketch. Extrude this circle to the part but join. Okay, you see it happens what we want. Good. Now we go to the hollows. The first one is this one. Yes. You see we have dimensions here. 13 plus 19 is 32 plus 8 is 40. This dimension is not necessary since we have this face to create uh, uh, a limit for the new revolving hollow we create a rectangle here with this line as center line and diameter of 72 and we place here a small clearance 19 2.65 it is not difficult so let's go a rectangle as I said this is a rectangle placed with the right but let me project so placed with its right side collinear with this I project again this end and 
collinearity here. Coincident is this line with this center point, but it is also a center line. Good. Dimension is a diameter of 72. Then we create a small rectangle somewhere here. We apply split of the long line and we select both entities to make them construction. Dimension is 2.65 and the distance of 19 here. 19 diameter of 74 74 finish revolve cut ok the end is a face where we create another uh, contour this one to be subtracted from this you see this is the plane where we place the new sketch dimensions are 70 radius 2 a square good this face sketch f7 square center here horizontal any side dimension of 70 and fillet of 2 which is by default to each corner each corner the same radius finish sketch extrude we have to select all like this cut all and I think is okay, isn't it? Good. Now the other direction where we have another hollow of revolution, diameter of sixty five distance from the new face created to the end and with two small clearances 2.15 both and placed at 5 and 18 65 is the external diameter of these clearances Good. Same beautiful friend of us. New sketch F7. We have to select the midpoint of this, so I project as a construction line this face. And now a rectangle from that midpoint to this 
new face already created. You see, we have three sides in uh, final uh, dimension. We are, we we change this to be uh, center line, and we place the diameter of uh, 62. Two small rectangles, one, two, with the same uh, width equal, and collinear if they are not already. They are cancel. Good. If I move this line, the other is moved as well. Okay. Split the long line and construction both overlapped entities dimensions two hundred two point fifteen for both distances five from the bottom five and eighteen the diameter is sixty five if I remember sixty five okay revolve cut okay yes we have all and position. Next, the holes. There are four holes on this face. You see them here and also here. But these two, one, two, are uh, with a depth and the other two are all the way. You see, this one has nothing to do if we uh, go through and this one the same. We can adopt this plane and this plane as limits for them. Because we don't know what happens in the future yes the uh, designer uh, can uh, modify this 86 to be longer yes and then the hole will uh, cut this uh, corner the sketch is the same yes we use it as a sharing sketch Dimensions are 5 for the first, 105 for the next. On the other direction, 80, symmetrical. Let's create these points. Yes. Point. But not as a geometrical point but a point like this one yes so I uh, disable this one two three four I connect this two with the line I make this line horizontal I hope 
to be horizontal and I place the midpoint to the same uh, vertical with the center point. Okay, dimension is 80. On the other direction, I place I place coincident this line with the midpoint this midpoint good the other direction this is placed on the same vertical with the center point and they both are on the same vertical distances 5 millimeters from the edge 5 and 105 between them oh this is already placed because it happens to be the center of this you know this volume we don't have to uh, add the, the distance from this to this because it is already placed finished sketch holes we start with that uh, uh, from the sides so I select one point this one and I create uh, threaded ESO six and with the dimensions of uh, oh no counterbore simple hole distances to the end is sixteen and the depth of the thread is 13 that's all yes 16 13 matrix 6 we select the other point and we apply this holes good they are in dimensions now I share the sketch share sketch the uh, marks are here yes you see the marks of sharing the first one is uh, uh, this one because it has uh, and plane already defined is this plane yes so I apply this and I select this plane the other elements are okay 13 is uh, for threading good okay for the second we need to uh, create a plane as uh, end of that hole the plane is uh, parallel with this and we have to create a point which is on an axis and a face you see this is the end plane it is the diametral plane of this cylinder okay hole in this point with same definition but with end on this plane okay the plane is no more necessary to be visible but it must exist the 
sharing shared sketch is also not visible okay other holes are on the other face they are here and uh, the definition is here you have to observe radius 2 and uh, chamfer of 1 at 45 if we look from the left we see the counterbore yes so let's place a point here and then we apply uh, circular uh, pattern good remember these dimensions diameter of 25 and 11 11 is here 5 radius 2 and uh, the chamfer good what is the diameter the diameter is 140 we turn the part so uh, uh, to have the face with the counterbore we draw a line with the length of 140 divided by 2 tab and the angle of 45 this is our style of uh, work yes here I place a geometrical point not uh, the kind uh, you saw before finish sketch hole counter bar not threaded through diameter of 11 tab 11 tab 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 25 is uh, the counter bore and 5 is the depth of counter bore okay you know this uh, procedure this is radius 2 which is uh, by default on the other face we have to apply one millimeter at 45 chamfer and this is to be uh, repeated multiplied in a circular pattern which feature the hole and the fillet and the chamfer all three the axis is this one and they are four you see this is the result good chamfers and fillets are the last yes chamfers one at 45 one at 45 these two ends that's all with the chamfer with the fillets there are a lot of uh, edges to be filleted you see a lot of them so let's go to the final of this modeling I turn this so to select and apply one to both okay 
Now the fillets. Let's apply some fillets. of uh, two two significant edges and then you will be free to apply what you want yes Also to this are specified okay space and I repeat here here and so on you are free to continue with this F6 let's apply material still cast general aspect of also still cast and some faces this one this one this narrow one and these are very important in my opinion and need to be machined still polished F6 you are free to add other final aspects I properties four kilograms is this object that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye